Hey, good morning, guys. I'm here at the Sacramento yard. Yep. All right, I'm doing my 8-2 split. I've been here eight hours and five minutes. I had about four hours of sleep. And uh, I'm getting ready to do this local from here in the yard over to uh, Dr. Pepper. And, uh, yep, so after Dr. Pepper, then I have to go down to uh, Modesto and grab a load of bottled water. And I only have an hour and 46 minutes. Can I do it? Can I do it? Of course I can. I'm Cliff. Yeah, it looks like uh, this local is a whole bunch of Snapple. So I just got to slide the axles back and then uh, go into one of those three docks there. And then uh, they'll offload me. Mm -hmm. Alright, they got all the Snapple out. Now I got to close the doors and uh, slide the axles. And yeah, walking on the dirt there. Yeah, so I got to close the doors and slide the axles now. Let's take a look inside. Oh, ain't too bad, just one little piece of wood. Alright, so let's button this thing up, huh? Snaking my way through the city streets and getting caught at a red light for like six lights. The damn red arrow never turned green. Well, eventually it did. I was getting sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. I don't know, it was like somebody was holding the button or something. Uh, so anyways, I'm on my way down here to Modesto now to grab the load of bottled water. My appointment for loading is at noon 30 and it is noon 21 right now and I don't think I'm going to make it because it's like an hour or so away from Sacramento oh well when I get there I get there I guess whatever dude all right man we made it now we gotta check in and back it up where the hell they tell me to over here somewhere Well, I wish I could just shut down randomly too. Cool, the water's all loaded up. Time to get paperwork and go back to Reno, I guess. I'm, I'm pretty tired. I think I'm gonna go to Rip On and go to bed. Well, I'm over here at the uh, Flying J now and Rip On or Rippin, however you say it. This place is fucking packed, dude. I'm blocked in now. Oh well, I ain't going anywhere. I'm gonna go inside, eat me a Philly. But I ain't eating nothing yet. Except for right just now, a couple of these uh, trolley super bright crawlers. Yeah, dude, I don't know, I'm just really tired. Four hours sleep, didn't eat yet. And right now I can't idle my damn truck 
because the AC is not working. It's just blowing out hot air, dude. So I got, got the windows down, flaps open, my little fan going right there. That feels good. Yeah, so I think after I get done eating my Philly, I'm gonna come back and maybe put my shorts on. Because this, this black shirt, black undershirt, black pants, boots, the thermal socks in there, and this hat. That's just a bit much. So, yeah. I don't know what to say. I, you know, they, they say don't vlog or do videos when you're tired, but I just can't help it. I gotta record something every day. And you can probably see it in my eyes too. So, anyway, going in there and eat, come back out, changing some cooler clothes, and then uh, just lay down, do my tent here, and then leave real early in the morning. Deliver the water load, and then put this bitch in the shop. For the AC, because I, I had to have my AC, dude. That's just straight up. It is the second day now of this water bottle load, or bottled water load. Going to the Walmart warehouse in Reno, which I'm um, getting ready to change highways, kind of. Just getting into Sacramento now. I feel more rested, but I woke up more tired. I don't know. I think I slept too long or something. <sighs> Anyways, let's keep going to Reno or McCarran. Hopefully uh, they'll give it to me because lately they've been kind of assholes about giving empty trailers how people are calling in and reserving certain trailer numbers and all shit. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Just give me a fucking trailer. That's all there is to it. You know, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to red tag this trailer when I get back into the yard too because you see the, the little rubber deal came off up there. I can't reach that at all, so shop has to fix something else besides my damn AC, which happens to be blowing cold air right now. But it's cold outside, so I don't know. I'm still going to uh, have them check it because I had to have my AC. I don't care what anybody says.